Good morning, everybody. Day three in Moscow. Um, as you probably saw, yesterday was awesome. Walking around with Dennis, who lives here. Uh, today, I am headed right now over to the Kremlin. I think I'm gonna do the Kremlin tour, see inside those walls, and then after that, I think I may head over to the Cosmonaut Museum, but we'll see. I might just wing it. So I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to take video in here. Um, I hope that I can so that you guys can see as well, but I don't know. If I can, I will. If not, I will uh, see you when I get out. Right now, I'm in uh, Cathedral Square, I think is what it's called. These beautiful, beautiful old cathedrals. I think it's Byzantine, but don't quote me on that in terms of the architectural style. But look at this. I'm not kidding you when I say that that building took my breath away. It is honestly not hyperbole. I've never been in a building that old. And it literally took my breath away. building I just came out of is called the Armory and it's a museum of old things. <laughs> um, clothes, thrones, crowns, weapons, a lot of amazing stuff, an amazing collection. Um, I got a little bit of footage but again not supposed to take video in there and uh, there were a lot of people around so I apologize for that. But it allowed me to focus on just taking in all that stuff, which is great. I think I've seen everything that I can, that I'm allowed to, so I'm gonna head out now. See when we get outside. I am already crazy tired from walking around so much um, yesterday and so much today as well. Um, I think I'm gonna go get, it's around noon, I'm gonna go get some food and some caffeine to re-energize myself. All right, change of plans. Cosmonaut Museum is closed on Mondays. So instead, I'm going to head to the uh, Museum of Soviet Arcade Games, Arcade Machines. That should be pretty cool. I gotta figure out how to get there first. Stalin and Lenin just hanging out in the subway. I have successfully navigated to the stop I need to be at. Now I just gotta figure out where I need to go. By the way, New York, take note. Moscow's metro system is immaculate. 
and it's pretty old. And I've never, the whole, this whole time, I haven't waited longer than two minutes for a train. Not as many people use it. It's not as large, obviously, as uh, the subway system in New York, but it's so much better. I got a little lost walking on the way um, and my phone, my Wi-Fi hotspot ran out of battery so I didn't have a GPS, but I found it. Okay. This place is awesome. I haven't even played anything. I haven't played anything yet and this place is already amazing. Let's start with the first machine here. And these coins, you can see it says, uh, this is Russian in Russian, USSR, the Soviet symbols. 15 Kopex, 1984. There we are. Submarine game. Soviet DDR. It's not working, so I can't tell. Let me get some soda here. And uh, put this in here. I don't know what the difference is, so mini, 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 mo. Alright, let's see what flavor I got. Mm. Orange, I think. I'll check this out. For 60 bucks, you can get an old Nokia phone. Women, all the women working here are very attractive. I know I said it when I was in there, but that place is awesome. I tried to charge my my hotspot a little bit while I was in there, and I did, um, and it charged enough for me to figure out where I'm going to get back to the hostel, but. It's dying again. So I'm gonna head back there, I think charge it a little bit, and decide what I'm gonna do from there. So I got off at the nearest station to my hostel, Trubnaya, and there's this beautiful park. going straight back to the hostel. I'm gonna wander around a little bit. There's really cool little clown statues because uh, right across the street is the Moscow Circus. I am back at the hostel really good to lay down like this so I'm probably not gonna do it for long um, just letting some stuff charge and then I'll head back out I'm supposed to meet up with Dennis at 6 I think to get some dinner and it's 320 right now so still got some time to spare oh. so I took about a 45 minute nap I feel a little bit better now a little bit re rejuvenated um, so I'm heading out to meet up with Dennis to get some dinner. And uh, I think we're going to get sushi. He mentioned yesterday that sushi has become, sushi has become very popular in Moscow, so he knows a good place.
I forgot to mention, I'm sure you figured out, but I'm back with Dennis. Hey, hey guys, hey again. <laughs> um, we got, went and got some sushi, it was very delicious. And then, as you saw, we just went into another super fancy department store. Um, the building was beautiful, but the service was very bad. Um, and now, I don't know where we're going. We're going in the subway. Maybe just we're going to the uh, Pushkin Square. Oh, yes, like Pushkin Square. This Look at all of these different doorbells for different places. These are all for different businesses, right? Yeah. That's crazy. escalator that we're on right now is the longest escalator in the world. I don't know if you can tell how far down it goes. And then you can enjoy the classical Russian music. <laughs> So unfortunately, Dennis, I, Dennis and I are parting ways. Um, so yeah. bye, Dennis. Bye -bye. With, without him, this trip would not have been half as good as it was. So thank you, Dennis. I already said this thank to you, you, but thank you again. Um, and uh, have a good night. We will talk soon. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Dennis, I hope you're watching. Um, but I, I can't, I said it to you already many times. I can't stress enough how much you uh, made my trip. It was, it was uh, very much appreciated what you've done for me, showing me around Moscow and just hanging out with me. I appreciate it and I'm glad I made a new friend. Um, I'm also going the wrong way. <laughs> but uh, thank you again. And for the rest of you who are watching, this is just a great, great example of what uh, YouTube is about and what YouTube can do. I think that it's an amazing community and I right now I only have about 350 subscribers and out of that 350 people I was able to find one person that lived in Moscow and he was willing to show me around and now I have a new friend. I think that's so great. Anyway, I'm heading back to the hostel now. It's midnight. I'm sorry. It's midnight and I gotta get some sleep because I'm meeting up with another friend tomorrow. A new, another new friend. See you back at the hostel. I'm about to pee my pants, and about halfway home, I came across a public toilet that you have to pay 50 rubles to get into, which is about, give or take 80, 90 cents. So I did, I paid the money, opened the door, and there's a, a crust punk. And if you don't know what a crust punk is, look it up, but there's a crust punk laying in the floor of the bathroom. So I couldn't pee. <laughs> and my body got excited that it was gonna get to go, and then it couldn't, and I almost peed my pants. But I'm back now. Hopefully I don't pee my pants. <laughs> <laughs>